Is this the police? <laughs> um, I'm just gonna start the stream by uh, welcoming you to uh, Goober Central. Figured that'd be a cool thing to call my stream now is uh, Goober Central. Um, but I decided against that because um, I didn't check into the copyright status. So um, if any of you are copyright lawyers and you wanna, uh, you know, go ahead, just go ahead, patent. Get a uh, patent on Goober Central going. Thank you. Hi, Chan. Welcome to the stream. Howdy, howdy, howdy. What's happening? What's happening? Um, this is a situation I did not think was going to happen on stream. I did not plan for this situation on stream, but I literally went live. I I'm not joking. I clicked start streaming and then... Uh, oh, uh, uh, tweeted that I was live and retweeted it and then <coughs> knock at the door and it was mail. So uh, we're not going to do like a whole mailbag stream tonight. Don't worry. We're not going to do a whole figure unboxing stream, but I, I am going to crack these open on stream to make sure that they're in there. Okay. And show you and show you what your hard earned, uh, your hard. You worked hard for your money and you put it towards me. And I'm going to show you what it went to. And it will be cool. And you will pog. And that's a guarantee. And that's a promise. From me to you. Thank you. Okay, Chen, how are you doing? Went to boot up Minecraft for the first time in ages today, but I can't log in. Oh. Yeah, I heard that, um, like, you have to have a Mojang account now. You had to, like, migrate over to, like, a Mojang account. And when I tried to do it, uh, they went, sorry, your account's been taken. Sorry, this this account has already been migrated over. And I went, I, I didn't, I don't think I did that. Couldn't, uh, tried to, like, get passwords reset. Tried contacting customer service. And, um... They never responded to me. So I just I just bought a new account. I just bought a new Minecraft account. Which sucks. But but I know you need to like you need to migrate over. Because before it was like optional to migrate to a Mojang account. Now you need to. Uh or you just completely lose your account. So pretty cool. Very cool. Thank you, Microsoft. I'll tell you what's hopping. My lousy wife, spend me dry. Oh my, the old ball and chain. Oh, who's been there? Who's, where the, where are the husbands in chat? Where are they, uh, you know, they say father knows best. Well, <laughs> not in my house, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, they say, uh, you know, uh, 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 save the, save the rod, spoil the child. <laughs> not in my house, you know, not in my house. It is, it's, uh, the, my, you know, uh, my kids will not come home for Christmas. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? They do not, they call me, um, sperm giver. Um, I don't know what that's about. I say, hey, I say, call me dad, call me father, and just don't call me late for dinner. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Who's with me, guys? Who is with me? The, you know, the wife, the wife came to me the other day. She said, hey, can I have 20, can I have 20, uh, dollars? And I said, well, what for? You know, that's a lot of money. And she said, well, I would like to go get my hair done, get some new makeup. And I said, honey... Uh, I, if you want your hair done, <laughs> um, I could give you a noogie. <laughs> and if you want some new makeup, uh, I, I went as a skeleton for Halloween last year. So <laughs> there you go. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, she. I miss my wife. Donor, not giver. I hope your children do not call you sperm giver. They do. A donor implies um, I did it out of kindness. Mm -mm. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I did it to, uh, to, to get the get the wife to. 
You know, oh, oh, I want children. Oh, I want children. Hey, <laughs> I'll give you some. <laughs> 13 happy years of marriage. 13 half years. We, we were married in 1990 and it and we had 13 happy years. My wife said she wants me to spend more time with the in-laws. I told her I don't feel like going to the zoo. Oh, <laughs> yeah, they, that's a good one. That is a good one. You know, my wife said, hey, you want to uh, you want to you want to spend Christmas with my parents this year? You want to spend Christmas? And I said, Christmas with the in-laws. <laughs> Uh, uh, I thought we were supposed to celebrate the birth of Christ, not the, uh, not the parents of Satan, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying here? Um, <laughs> you know, it, you know, but, uh, to be fair, you know, love my wife to be fair to her. Um, uh, she, she, uh. Hold on, I'll think of something nice. Um, lasagna. Anyways, let's stop talking about the wives. Uh, you know, if, if they hear us talking about them, you know, they'll start talking about us. And, pff, you know, I don't... I don't <laughs> Uh, what my wife could say about me, you know, could fill a, could fill a book, you know? So we'll leave it at that and we'll say, let's, say, let's, let's, everyone hold hands. Thank you to our wives. Thank you to our wives. Thank you to, thank you to, thank you to our wives, our mighty, mighty wives, our big and mighty wives. Thank you to, thank you to, thank you to our wives. Okay. Had to get the prayer out. Anyways. <laughs> You guys doing the wives prayer? That one's big at uh, my uh, church. We do that one a lot now. <laughs> Fishing for Rodney Dangerfield emo. We could do that. It could be done. <laughs> it could be accomplished. I could do flug as Rodney Dangerfield. Do flug as Rodney Dangerfield, like pulling on his shirt collar and tie. Go <laughs> down. <laughs> the only wife prayer I do is praying for my wife to come back home. She's been at the store a few months. Hey, hey, you know, you know, that is that that is sometimes that's how it is. You know, sometimes you say sometimes uh, sometimes my wife says go to the store, and I say all right, see you next year. <laughs> uh, you know that is. You know, so, um, the other week my wife said to me, she said, uh, hey, I'm going to the store, gonna go pick up a little, um, you know, a little, uh, dinner. And I said, well, <laughs> hopefully you don't, uh, pick up another husband on the way home, you know, or do. Anyways, um, <laughs> we're in an open relationship. Uh, you know, I always thought, uh, I always thought polygamy was when I jerked off to Princess Peach and Mario Party. All right, that's that's the best joke I'm gonna come up with tonight. It's, which is pretty sad, honestly. <laughs> Chad, how are you all doing? It is a, it's a, you know, it's a kind of a chilly, uh, chilly. What day of the week is it? Wednesday. Yeah, Jesus, chilly Wednesday here in Central Pennsylvania. Um, which I'm, I like, but it's like, oh, it's coming. Fall is coming. Which is, uh, horrifying. 
I mean, it's cool. You know, my birthday's in fall. But fall leads to winter. And winter leads to snow. And I unironically have a boomer level hatred of snow. Uh, I unironically don't get along with snow. I used to. I do not. Now that I'm a driver, no. So, you know, it is what it is, but it's uh once that cold air starts creeping in, my brain I mean what? I've been out of school for seven years now. Six years now. When that cold wind starts creeping, uh, just something in my brain goes school. I I just start like Oh my god, dude. Dude, I gotta get my homework done, dude. <laughs> Something just breaks in my brain. Um, and makes me just think like, oh man, it's school time. Uh-oh. It like it like gives me anxiety. <laughs> Which says a lot about how good and nice and kind the American public school system is. Movies were canceled and moved to Friday. You have to deal with me tonight. All right, I guess. I get. I was looking forward to a one Kirby free stream, but I guess we'll suffer. Dad. Oh, that's uh that's all right, Kirby. That just gives you Did you get caught up? Did you watch my Big Fat Greek wedding 1 and 2? Did you ca get caught up? I did. Okay, what can we get the review? What, how many, uh, let's get the Cinema Sins counter up. What would you give it out of, out of, uh, out of five? Is that first one, I've only seen the first one. I would give it like a three out of five. I didn't, I didn't dislike it. It, it had some funny moments. It's very much not a movie for me, but like, I, I went through a phase where I was like, I have to watch like, all of the big-name comedies, I have to watch and learn. And so, um, I watched it, and it was it was good. It was all right. I don't know if I'd actively, like, search it out again. But, like, if it was, if I was, like, in a, um, like, a hospital bed, if, like, both of my legs were broken and my arms were broken, and I was in a hospital bed, and it was on TV, and I couldn't, no one was there to give me the remote, and I was begging and screaming and crying, helping, or praying that someone would come and help me, I don't think it would be the worst thing to have on the TV. Can we talk about hospital TV? You ever experienced hospital TV? When my dad was in the hospital last year, um, they had this like mounted to the ceiling TV that was like the shittiest quality. And um, I, I don't think they had cable. I think it was just like over the air stuff. So he was like watching like, I don't even know. He was watching like daytime talk shows and was just like so bored so infinitely bored and i i even went when i when i visit i, I think i saw him twice in the hospital because he wasn't in the hospital for too long he was in the hospital for like maybe four days and i when i was there the first time i even pulled the tv down to see like is there an input that i could like hook a dvd player up to this and this guy could like watch like Clint Eastwood movies or you know something he enjoys no no so sat behind the chair and played Pokemon gold every day see that's dope I mean that's dope for you it's not dope for your dad but uh yeah it was just like oh man I um if I end up in the hospital at any point uh I don't, you know, you know, if I was in the hospital, you know, my parents would come and see me immediately and they would, they would probably come to this apartment and make like a bag, right? Clothes and, and whatever I would need. 
I would beg them to bring a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I would beg them to bring my Switch because if I had a, I think if, if I if I went into the hospital for a broken foot. And they put me in a bed, and I had to watch, like, the Drew Barrymore show or something. I'd flatline in six hours. Done. Don't do DNR. I'd sign the DNR <laughs> and flatline. I'm out. <laughs> I'd rather die, thanks. <laughs> uh, I'm... Thankfully, never been in a hospital because of an accident. Did go there once for a year because of a knee injury. Oh, once a week for a year. I thought you were saying you were there for a whole year, and I was like, holy shit. Did go once a week because of a knee injury. Okay. So you weren't, you, you had to go for, like, checkups on it and stuff. But you weren't, like, in the actual hospital bed. Only been in the hospital twice. Got stitches in my lip in middle school after a fight. And had to go because I couldn't pee. Because of the fight? What? What? I, the, did the other guy like, like mash your shit in? Oh, two separate. Okay. I got to. <laughs> I mean, that's fucked up. If that. If, <laughs> you get in a fight and the other guy's just punching your dick. That's fucked up. That, that had to have been a real intense fight. Now, all right, did you win the fight or did you lose the fight? Practice stuff, normal physical therapist for six months. Okay. I'd say it was a draw. We both got our licks in. Well, you're supposed to be punching. That's why your dick didn't work. UTI. He sucked your dick so hard. <laughs> you got that guy's number? <laughs> hey, yo, hey. <laughs> Let me get in a fight with that guy. <laughs> um, I've been hospital... Me, like, not to visit someone, but as a patient, I think only once. And it was when um, I was really famous as a kid for it, breaking my right arm a lot, like a lot. And the second time I broke my arm, uh, they were like, yeah, we're going to have to do surgery. And I'm like, oh, Jesus, man, I don't know. You know, I used to know all this stuff. I used to know like the dates. Of like, oh, this is when I broke my arm the first time, the second time, the third time. Broke my ankle. I can't remember these dates anymore. But I was young, man. I was... First time I broke my arm, I think I was like six. The so second time I might have been like eight. Somewhere between like eight and ten. And they were like, yeah, we'll have to do surgery. So I was in there as a patient... And they, they, they knocked me out. They put the gas on me. Um, and I remember that. I remember like them doing like the countdown. I remember being really, I remember being old enough to be pissed off that I had to wear like a hospital gown and that I was just in my underwear. I remember being old enough to be embarrassed by them. And they, they put the gas on me. They knocked me out. And then I guess what had happened, they thought that they were going to have to cut my arm open and like fuse the bone back together. But I guess what happened is the, the, that was the doctor, like the doctor's like, that's what we're going to do. The surgeon was just like, ah, I'll just fucking put it back in. I'll just fucking snap it together, baby. So that's what they did. They popped it like back into place and everything. Um, sewed me, uh, I mean, I don't even think. I mean, no, I would have a scar. So they didn't even cut me. They just cut me back together. And then uh, when I woke up from it, I remember waking up and being in like in a hallway. I was in, in the bed and I, I woke up in the hallway and there's just like strangers all around me. And I remember immediate like panic. 
Like immediate, like, where I gotta find my parents. Where are my parents? Where are my parents? Like, this is something's not right here. Where are my parents? And so I'm like trying to get out of the bed. And they're like, no, 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 no. Sit down. Stay down. You gotta stay down. We'll get your parents. But you gotta stay down. And then my parents showed up. Um, and they took me back into a room. And I was under the impression that I would have to stay. Because I'm a kid, you know, I'm like somewhere between 8 and 10. Uh, and I am like, I'm under the impression I got to stay. I obviously didn't have to stay. They like, they were like, all right, get dressed. You can go home. We're going to put it in. I think they put me in a cast. But you're good to go. But I was under the impression I had to stay. And so we get back into this room and... They had uh, a TV on a cart. They had like a CRT on a cart with a VCR. The VCR on top of it. If you if you've watched this channel a little bit, the movie I'm about to say is gonna make you go like, oh, so this is just like a thing for you. Was Rugrats the movie? I can't escape this fucking movie. Was Rugrats the movie? I remember that, but what I really remember is they had a PlayStation 2. This was maybe right before I got my PS2. And I was like, no, nah, um, uh, they're like, how's your, all right, so if your pain level is low, uh, you can go home. And I was like, um, no, oh, wow, my arm, oh, gee, no, it hurts. And they're like, oh, it hurt when, when we do this, oh, gee, oh. Oh, when you, oh, oh, I was just trying to be a little shitter. I just wanted to stay and play on the PS2. And uh, my parents knew that. <laughs> my parents were like, he's fine. He's fine. J he's fine. Mike, get dressed. He's fine. We're going to go home. He's fine. Uh, do, I think I got to stay. Do they got a uh, tie the Tasmanian tiger? I got to stay. Oh, dude. <laughs> Um, and that was it. I never got to play that PS2. Sad. Sad. <laughs> but yeah, and then after that I had a cast. And that was the only time I had any sort of... Like, it's the only time I've ever been in a hospital bed. Was that. And it wasn't... I didn't, like, stay at night or anything like that. It was like... I had surgery in the morning and I was, like, out. Because, again, they didn't do surgery. They thought they were going to. But they just... they The surgeon was like, I can just pop this back in place. Put a cast on it. It's good. Um, anyways, didn't get to play the PS2, and, um, you figure out if that did psychological damage to me. <laughs> you figure out if, uh, not getting to play the PlayStation 2, uh, made me a PlayStation 2 fiend as an adult. I'll let you figure that one out. <laughs> That's why you broke it so often. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> American health insurance is insane. What about Jesus? Yeah, I, I don't know what it costs for me. Um, all of those times as a kid. I don't know. But yeah, insurance. That's what I got to do next month. I turn 26 next month and I don't have a job with benefits. I have to I have to sign up for insurance, which I, I think I'm going to be OK. I think I know what I'm doing. I'm low income enough that I can get like a decent plan, I think. But man, it's gonna suck. It just it just sucks, you know. Thankfully, as of right now, I have no ongoing medical problems other than the size of my gut. But that's a problem that I'm working on, so my dad got back surgery when I was a kid and I didn't know what uh insurance was. I thought my parents legitimately had to pay like 100k. I, I mean, even with insurance, sometimes, man, that that shit can be 100k. It, what the fuck are we doing as a country, man? How did we get here? Well, I'm glad your parents didn't have to pay 100k. I think so. So when this past year, for those of you who don't know. My dad had an accident at work. He fell off a ladder at work. Um, 
broke his leg really badly, broke some ribs. They thought he might have spine damage. Uh, found out that his heart put. They found out that his heart was an AFib, which is where it's beating irregularly and raises his chance of a heart attack or a stroke. But they don't know if it was caused by him falling or if he had had AFib for a while. Um, so, the, you know, this sucks. For a lot of reasons, we're not going to get into, but they, for a lot of reasons, it's it hugely sucks. But I will say the one thing that has been like, well, and, then, and this is how fucked up America is, is that uh, constantly we were saying, and people visiting him and everything were saying, hey, at least you fell at work. Workers comp. If you fell at home... Uh, insurance would cover part of it, but you'd have to pay. But because you fell at work, workers' comp. So they haven't had to pay much. It's a couple of small things they've had to pay for. But, you know, fractions based on what they would have to pay if he fell at home. But it's still like, man, that's that's cool. That's you you something that's cool about America is if you get injured. Not only do you have to worry about your own physical health afterwards and whether you'll be able to go to your job and do it, you also have to worry about what is the bill going to come to because the bill is going to be so high, it is going to ruin your life. Cool. Pretty cool. My dad's doctor wants him to have another back surgery. Surgery on his hand, shoulder and his hands. Now, is the hang, is like, does your dad want to do it? Or does your dad not want to do it? And if he doesn't, is it because of the cost? Or is it because like, oh, my doctor's a quack. Because that's how my dad is. Uh, my dad is just like, hey, these doctors, they don't know. It's like, what do you mean they don't know? What are you talking about? Of course they know. To be fair, though, my dad has had some pretty... This this past year where I've been with him with a lot of the doctor's visits and everything because mm -hmm. I was helping taking care of him and everything, so I needed to be in the know. Um, Man, some of those doctors genuinely were pretty fucking bad. I will be real. Some of those doctors were like... I think I would have understood more if I just cracked open a medical textbook. Certain companies always try everything in the power not to pay. They're just scams. Yeah. For sure. How long can I afford to be injured? That's the question you get to ask. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? Might do the shoulder because he's been dealing with a ro fractured rotator cuff. Dad's, dad's back surgery should not go smoothly, so he doesn't want to do another one. That's understandable, I think. It, you know, it's... uh. How do I how do I say this without diving in too deep here? It sucks watching your parents get old. You know, it sucks watching um, them need surgery and surgery and surgery, and knowing like each successive surgery will fix them a little bit, but they're getting older and older, and so it becomes riskier and riskier for them to do surgeries. Ah. Box man, it really does. First one, they operate on the wrong disc. The second one, they hit a nerve and partially numbered one of his. Le Jesus. They only have a few herniated ruptured discs. Fuck, dude. That sucks ass. Sorry. Uh. Never mind. I was going to do like, I was going to make a joke and it's like, let's not, you know, let's not. I gotta, I gotta take a quick pee break. I will be right back. I'm about to like fucking piss my pants. I don't know what happened. Give me a minute.
Hi, this is Sean from Mega64. And if you're watching this video, that means my boy Mike, you know, you're, you're watching his Twitch stream right now, you're loving it, but he's gotta go to the bathroom, let him pee. You know, Mike's gotta pee. This is the Mike pee break video. So instead, you know, I know that you're upset. You wanna watch him stream on Twitch. You're, you're on Twitch, like I'm here. I'm on Twitch, why, why am I not watching Mike stream? It's because he's pissing. We're just doing a piss timeout. So um, what I'm gonna do instead, you know, Mike, take as long as you need in there. You know, you, you don't rush things, right? So what we're gonna do is I got some burgers on the grill. We got some solid burger content. So everyone- Sorry to cut Sean off, sorry. I don't know what happened there, dude. I just, I was fine. And then I was like, I got to blast some piss, man. Showing off that you could pee when Kirby had to get a catheter. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Sorry, Kir Kirby. If you want, um, I can, f I'll, I'll, next time I go pee, I'll, I'll just, I'll fill my dick pissing. And send it to you, and you can kind of get like um. I don't know what that would do for you. I gotta be honest. <laughs> I didn't think that went through. I thought that would be like inspirational, but uh, yeah, I, I guess that would just be more insulting. Never mind. <laughs> Whatever. All right, I'm gonna. I, I need to crank these open. Make sure what I bought is in there. Let me do that quick. While I'm talking to you. Wait, actually, I do want to read this. The worst part was as I was explaining to the receptionist why I was there, she handed me a cup to pee in. I said, I'm here because I can't. She said, just in case. <laughs> what are you going to do? Kirby, if you don't... Uh, maybe this is... Let me know if this is TMI. It's okay if this is... T just say TMI. What was the what was the piss situation? What what was it? Kidney stones or something like that? Why I, I for some reason in my mind I remember you saying something about kidney stones, but I think it was a UTI. You said there was no stones. Okay, that's a that's a nightmare situation for me. Kidney stones. I would actually rather go back to talking about my injured father. My aging, injured father, then even start thinking about kidney stone. Nightmare. That's why I drink like two gallons of water a day. I am hydrated, lubricated, domesticated, eradicated. Yeah, I'm going to open these. <laughs> Yeah, you ever, uh, anyone else in chat ever had piss problems? What? This is a new segment on the show I like to call, um, My Dick Don't Work. Let me know how your, does your dick work? <laughs> don't, don't answer. Uh, I'm not showing my address on stream, right? By the time they got it out of me, I hadn't pissed in 24 hours. And I filled up a gallon thing that pissed all over the floor when I stood up. They breach a seal with a catheter and make it extremely hard to hold the pee in. Interesting. I didn't know that. I don't know. Ask my wife. Oh! I peed blood once, still unexplained after. Ah, well, you... That's your period. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Uh, in box one, this is the one I was concerned about. Um, in box one, we've got uh, the, the re-release of Mutating Donatello. I have Leonardo and Raphael already. Those were put out at the start of the summer. These 
Um, and, and I guess I should say mutating Michelangelo. These were supposed to come with like wave two of the mutant mayhem stuff hitting her target. I don't think my target is getting that. Uh, my target is take down, take it down their mutant mayhem display. As far as I understand, they are done promoting that movie. Why they would get another shipment of merch for that movie in is beyond me. I had to go out of my way. I got a hook up on these. Shouts out. Um, uh, uh, Tim the Toy Man. Thank you for the hookup. Now I've got them. Shouts out. Uh, Tim the Toy Man. Uh, I, I, I DM'd him. I said, hey, do you have these? And he went, oh, oh, oh. Um, and then he said something fucking racist. And it was like, oh. Hey, well, I just I just bought these. Fucking weirdo. That's the last time I'm buying anything from Tim the Toy Man. Uh, I don't like that guy. I Now, th this I bought from... Um, Al... Al uh, Toyland, who is not a racist. The one time he was going to sell NFTs and he, he said, no, never mind. That was cool. Yeah, Tim the Toy Man uh, saying racist things, saying misogynistic things. He's snitching on his friends buying Coke. I mean... That guy's not... I mean, he did get the hookup for these. But I didn't know he was like that. I didn't know he was problematic. And I will be unfollowing. Um, This box is too fucking big. I don't know why they sent it to me in this box. Does personally know Santa... Though? Well, I do too. I, wait, I do too. Hey guys, it's me, Santa. Just checking in. Uh, three. We got three months till Christmas, so um, you know, be keep being good. Keep keep on rocking in the free world. And I'll check you again in three months, guys. Three months, okay? All right, everyone cool with that? You gotta, it's Christmas. <laughs> Can't change the schedule. Uh, sorry, ho, ho, ho. Uh, guys, Santa was here. I still have that. Yeah, I still got that cute. I ain't getting rid of that. <laughs> you tell Santa he still owes me 15 bucks. I mean, I'll say something, but shaking Santa down for money, that's not a good boy. You're going to end up on the naughty list if you're shaking Santa down. So they just put this in the biggest box I could find. Um, This is the, uh, this is the Mutant Mayhem... Oh, there's Donatello. Uh, this is the this is the Mutant Mayhem Ooze Cruising figure set. This was exclusive at Target. Uh, why would I buy this instead of just the figures sing singularly? Because April is exclusive to this set. Uh, you cannot get April separate. So I was like, well, I guess I'll get this. Um, here's the funny story about this. They had like 40 of these at my target. And I kept waiting on this. I kept going like, I'll get it. I'll get it next week. I'll go next week and get it. I'll go next week and get it. Yeah, next week. I'll go and get it. I'll go and get it next week. They were not selling these. These kept, they were just sitting on the shelves. Went to target on Sunday. Went, okay, I'm going to see if they've got these, this mutating figures I need. See if they've got the one plush I need. 
And then I'll, I will pick up the Ooze Cruising figures. Uh, they didn't have them. Like I said, they took down all the Mutant Mayhem stuff. The normal figures and everything were where they should be. I don't know. They Last time I was there, not exaggerating, they had 10 of these. And then Sunday I went and they had none. I don't know where they are. I don't know if they got moved somewhere else and I couldn't find them. So I, I had to get the hookup on this. So shout out. This is a shout out to... Um, Uh, I want to say, uh, Corey Taylor. Who the fuck is Corey Taylor? I should not shout out random people. <laughs> Who's Corey Taylor? Corey Taylor. <laughs> who is this from Slipknot? Yeah. Yeah, that's the guy who sold this to me. Shouts out Corey Taylor from Slipknot. Thank you for the Ninja Turtle action figures. Big shouts out. Did, has he said something racist? Has he has he said something bad? Anyways, the last thing I'll say about this, if you look this April, this is actually I I actually kind of got I'm not going to say a deal. Because I, I think, oh, this is the more uncommon of the two variants of April. Um, Playmates fucked up. Uh, there's a lot of, like, weird stuff going on where paint is different from, like, one wave of these releases to the next. Right? Like, like Leonardo's swords might be, you know, they're silver here, but there might be another version where they're brown. Like, weird stuff like that's going on. I don't, I don't know why. We don't know why yet. But one of the things that's going on is Playmates doesn't know what shade of skin April O'Neil is. She's black, obviously. But Playmates doesn't know what to do with that. And so you've got this version of April where she's like kind of light skinned, which people were calling white April O'Neil. And it was like, no, no, it's not. But then there's another version of April where her skin is way darker in this set. The lighter skinned April is uh, more uncommon. I wouldn't say rare, but it's slightly more uncommon than the darker skinned April. Um, and so I got the lighter skinned April. I didn't really care which one I got because they're both not screen accurate. The lighter skin's too light and the darker skin is too dark for, for it to be like screen accurate. I didn't care which one I got, um, but it is, you know, oh, it's slightly uncommon. Anyways, I got this. Um, thank you, Corey Taylor. Okay, anyways. Yeah, that's that. Um, last, last, uh, last little thing I want to say. I'm going to boot up Cyberfunk while I'm saying this. Let's talk Nintendo Direct. Shall we? Can we? Should we? We shall. $15 and $20.78 with 10% interest in 745 years. Uh, dude, I don't think Santa's got that kind of money. I think you're going to bankrupt Christmas. Do you want to do that? Do you want Do you want Christmas to not happen for all the good little boys and girls all over the world? Because Santa gave you 15 bucks and $12.78. Really want to do that? Not to um not to shit on the Santa lore. Like in the general Santa lore. Did ever does it ever um you ever get confused of like does Santa make the presents? How does Santa make a PlayStation 2? Is he buying the present if he buys the presents, where does he get the money? Um, something's not adding up with the Santa Claus guy. It steal all the children's presents and give them to me. <laughs> I 
after he gives them to <laughs> to the kids. <laughs> you want you want Santa to fly around the world tonight, snatch up all the presents he gave everyone last year, and give them to you. Nine months later, Santa comes back and takes the gifts. That's fucked up, man. Okay. Still getting used to this new chair. I like it, but I have to have, like, my legs in the right position. Or it's, like, a little awkward. Okay. Let me boot up Cyberfunk. Um, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Hey, I am 8-Bit announced a physical edition of this and um, a vinyl soundtrack today. I am picking that up. That goes on, I think it's pre-order opens on Friday. That's a that's a surefire pickup for me. Um, Both, on both of those. Oops. Sorry, this is, this is... Overload right now. There we go, I got it. Yeah, that's uh I'm getting that PS5 copy. And then I'm getting that I'm getting that vinyl soundtrack. Have they released a track list for the vinyl? So I gotta turn the game down a little. All the songs, all 32. Okay, so like even the, even like the T-Lope stuff. I right, welcome back to Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. Um, last thing we did, we run around the Millennium Mall, trying to trying to dunk on them. And so, uh, I guess we'll keep doing that. <laughs> That's the great thing about this game. Is, like, there is a story. But, like, what's your goal? It's the same goal and everything. Not in a boring way, but in, like, it's easy for someone like me to check out and check in. You know? So, anyways, that's that's Friday, I think. Phillips doesn't have music in this, does he? Sorry, I meant too mellow. Sorry. That's my bad. I meant too mellow. My B. Did I go in? I did, right? It's the whole soundtrack. Okay. Did I go in here? Oh, I had to have. Okay. Listen, all I remember from the last stream is riding these rails over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So... So let's, we got to find out where we're supposed to go. We'll figure it out. Um, I will say, I think my ultimate goal with these streams, I think once we beat the game, um, sorry, I had to clear my throat. I could hear myself getting crusty. Um, once I beat the game, you're going to get a bonus stream. Of this where I'm going to fuck around with mods because there's so many interesting mods for this game that I want to um, I, I think would be very fun to dick around with and show off so got the song they add in the update don't all right then that's like yeah that's a surefire pickup Sp related to that did two mellow ever release memories of Tokyoto future on vinyl Because now I feel like I need that. <laughs> I got memories of Tokyoto on vinyl. I feel like I need future on vinyl too. Okay. Where? I mean, let's keep going up. Once we figure out where we got to go. 
Then we'll be good. I don't think I cleared this whole area. I don't think he has yet. Okay. I think that's why I haven't listened to that album that much. I think I'd listen to it all the way through like once. Is because uh, I wanted it on vinyl. Because that's how I listened to Memories of Tokyoto like a hundred times was on vinyl. Okay, how do we... Oh, right, we gotta get our, our level up so we can get our bevel up and get that. Did I collect the... Uh, I had to have collected the... Th yes, I think I did. Okay. Sorry, we're playing, we're playing mental catch-up real quick. I'm very stupid, and I have a very bad memory. All right. So anyways, chat, Nintendo Direct tomorrow. What are we, we getting uh, DK64 2? Donkey Kong uh, 128? What are we getting? What are you, What's your predictions? What do you think has got to be there? What do you hope is there? Open new F-Zero or the GX remake is real. Yeah, I would agree. I would agree. I think it, I think something F Zero will be there, based on based on the the uh, the pure leaks. Pikmin Five, I you know what? I think it's coming. I think it's gonna be released tomorrow. Stealth dropping it. I would pog. I'd be excited. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing. I guess let's leave them all. For me, the the one thing I want, the one thing that I I I yearn, please, is for new Donkey Kong. I'm a DK head through and through and and I know like the leaks were like oh there will be a new DK and then it was um it'll be uh Donkey Kong versus Mario and I was like ah! cuz I love Donkey Kong so much man the country games the country returns games I I like I just love Donkey Kong. I love the aesthetic. I love the music. I love the big monkey. And it's a series that hasn't had a game since the Wii U. And I gotta be real, we're kind of running out of time for it to have a game on the Switch. I really hope we get to see a new Donkey Kong. I really hope it's not a new Donkey Kong versus Mario. It totally will be Mario versus Donkey Kong. Sorry. He doesn't even get top villain. He's second banana. See, and this is when we would use the Rodney Dangerfield emote. <laughs> I'm doing that tomorrow. If I have the time, I'm making, making a flood Rodney Dangerfield emote tomorrow. <laughs> Did I say flood? Oh, no. I meant flug. Um, yeah, praying, praying for some some new Donkey Kong. Who is this creature? Uh, where? Oh, wasn't it a thing where I needed enough respect? I have 150 on rep. I don't remember how much I needed to unlock a thing. That's what we need to do. I need to see how much rep I needed. Wonder when the next Nintendo console is going to release. It's got to be next year. 
I think I think they're gonna announce that thing summer next year, and it's gonna hit uh, holiday next year. I don't know what I really want. I feel like Nintendo is good at surprising me for sure. For sure. I would say the same thing. I think very rarely do I walk away from a direct and go like, wow, there was nothing there for me. But I would really like a direct where I walk away pissing and shitting. And like even the last direct I thought was pretty good. But like Mario RPG uh, I I can't say I'm like a fan of But I want to be a fan of So like the remake announcement was like Oh that's cool Like it was a lot of stuff where I'm like Oh that's cool I will play that But it, there was nothing there where I was like Screaming Losing my mind Oh my god it's real There was nothing like that for me And, and I don't know if there has been Uh Outside of, like, Tears of the Kingdom. I really just would like to see my friend Donkey Kong. He is my friend, and he lives inside my TV, and I miss him very much. And I would really like to be reunited. Please. Please. I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up Super Mario RPG. I mean, to be honest, if you want to play Mario RPG, you can, you can just get an emulator and a ROM and play it that way. I need two. Okay. I need 200 rep. What in the good goddamn am I missing? This is turning into some surefire fuckery right now. <laughs> you wanna know something? Yes, please. I will. I am accepting tips. Because I would love to actually make progress on this stream. We spent last stream just dicking around. I would love to actually make a little bit of progress. Like a 2D Zelda. 2D Zelda. Um, 2D Zelda would be dope. We're not getting that. But it would be dope. I personally would love to. I would love Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD to finally fucking come to the Nintendo Switch. Love for them to try 3D Donkey Kong again. Yes, I, I would too. Um, there were rumors that like the Mario Odyssey team was making a new 3D Donkey Kong. And like, if, if anyone was gonna make that shit dope, it would be the Odyssey team. And so that's what I thought this like Donkey Kong leak was. And then no, it's it's probably gonna be Mario versus Donkey Kong, which sucks. Go back up top and see if you can slide under that gate. Oh, uh, did I? Am I? I'm probably missing something. This is something real small. Thank you. Like Mario, hey, I don't dislike Mario versus DK. I I also like those games, but I don't. I do not. I do not want another one right now. I do not. <laughs> please, I do not want another one right now. Please, <laughs> I want to see my friend Donkey Kong. And I went to see my friend Diddy Kong. And I went to see my friend Dixie Kong. I do not, I, I don't, I don't want to see the minis right now. Okay, Kirby, what are you talking about? Sliding under the gate? Oh shit, I see it.
Oh, shit. Wasn't I in here? I was already in here. I already did this. I go up. Oh! Oh! I did this. Did you challenge the fuckers in the first part of the mall? Uh, I don't know. Did I? <laughs> did I? <laughs> we got any funny little guy lore heads? <laughs> Can anyone uh, read me the script of my streams <laughs> back to me? We need like a cart or a court typographer or whatever. <laughs> Where was it? This way? You challenge the guys with eight ball heads. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Is this, where's the first part of the mall? Not this, is it? With the fishes. Uh... Uh Did I challenge guys with eight ball heads? Hmm. Map. Blue. Oh, is that what I'm missing? Or you? Ah, uh, that's what I'm missing. Okay, thank you. So, all right. So we got a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, but also I don't know if you guys saw them. Nintendo Directs at like 10 a.m. my time. Then at, fuck, I don't know, is it like 5 p.m. my time? There's a Sony State of Play. I will probably stream that. Um, I will probably stream the State of Play. The Direct, I don't think I will. Because I'll want to watch it while it's happening. About previously announced stuff? Yeah, but wh what does that mean, you know? Uh, what does it, you know, what does it mean? Previously announced. Or does it, you know, uh. <laughs> I guess it's kind of self-explanatory. How late is it for you now? Right now it is 7.22 p.m. Spider-Man? Okay. I'll still maybe watch it. I'll still maybe watch it. Score of 100,000? Oh, I can do that. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to be doing it now. Oh, shit. I gotta remember how to play the game. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is my strength. 
all of what we did last stream is going to pay off right now, chat. I did it. <laughs> yeah, it was easy. <laughs> what? It'll be 1.22 a.m. For me, so it'll be 4 a.m. Uh, so the... Wait. Either I'm not understanding or we're both not mathing right. So the, 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 oh, or maybe you're talking about the dirt. No, wait, I'm, I, I'm, maybe I'm stupid. The Sony thing, the state of play will be at 5 PM my time. Yeah, the state of play would be like 11 p.m. for you. Okay. Because it's... Right now it's 7. And it's 1 a.m. for you. But the Sony thing it would be at 5 for me tomorrow. So what's the difference? Run the math. Uh, you're... You're... What? Like six hours ahead? Of me. So yeah, it would be like 11 p.m. for you, Chris. Stop. Oh, that's my friend. <laughs> Man, listen, time zones are confusing as hell. Time zones are like, I barely understand. I can only do like America. And even then, I'm not too great. I can tell you the East Coast and the West Coast. There's a three hour difference. Okay, where's, where's the man? Change the song. Put it on Cyber Milk. Um, but uh, ban that guy for backseating. Uh, I'm going to listen to whatever music I want to listen to. And if you don't like that, gift a sub. <laughs> I only know it because I watch Giant Buffs. Hey, for me, it's Mega64. They're West Coast. And so I, and they, and they never go like, and that'll be 8 PM for you East coaster. They never do that. So I, I had to learn quick how to do those conversions quick. Look up time zone conversion. All websites suck dick. Oh yeah. Oh, I, I should have paid attention to that. Shouldn't I? Uh oh, um, uh, I did not pay attention to that. I'll, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. We're going to do this. And we're going to manual it. And we're going to hope that that was right. Was that right? I don't think that was right. No. Can I see it again? Can I see it again? Yeah. Lamau. Okay. Goes from there. Oh, he goes across the fish. Okay. Man, speaking of Giant Bomb, um, I've been trying to get caught up on, on Gersman's, Jeff Gersman's ranking of NES games. And it's been great. I really enjoyed those streams. But I was watching the one from last week where he played Batman on NES. 
which is like a top five NES game for me, and he hated it. He spent like 20 minutes on it, just complaining, didn't even finish the first stage, and hated it. <laughs> and I was like, oh no, is this what it's like to watch one of my streams? Oh no. <laughs> He spent 20 minutes just complaining that Batman's punch range isn't big enough. It's how I felt watching you scream at Starfield and tell me I'm shit for liking it. That's exactly... No, no one checked the VOD. That's exactly how that went down. It definitely was not me going like, man, I wish it was like this. I wish I want to like this game. I wish it was like this. It was definitely me calling you out by name, posting your home address, saying, get this guy for liking Starfield. Execute this Starfield enjoyer. Timestamp? Promise I won't check. Uh, VOD's on YouTube. You can find it there. You can timestamp it yourself. Oh, what a good song. Nice. How much rep do I have? I'm I'm not getting any rep from this. When do I get rep? I want to be rich with that rep. Yeah, but then I'll have to watch a funny little guy stream, and that sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, I got news for you. <laughs> Look at what you're watching right now. <laughs> I got news for you. Guys, it's time I come clean. I'm funny little guy. I know a lot of you guys came to the stream thinking I was XQC. I'm not. I'm funny little guy. Should be right there. Grab all the boost charges in one slide combo. Uh. How? What? How? Oh. Oh, this is fine. Why did I think this would be hard? I missed one. I missed one. Turn around. <laughs> Turn the car around. <laughs> Fuck. The these pads are infinite slide. Interesting. That would have been nice to know. <laughs> A win. Whoa. I gotta get that. So the bomber... Wait. Don't I do a robot voice for these guys? I'll just do. So the bomb rush crew has decided to take on .exe. They aren't stupid. We've been receiving signals. Through our intel, we know exactly what's coming. It spells trouble. You survive without bullet holes... Get 111 rep. 
Anything below that means nothing. Lamau. Oh, cool. The police are here. And for further instruct. Oh, this isn't going to be a normal. Uh oh. The perpetrators armed and. Uh oh, North American police. That bike is a weapon. See ya. Oh, that's why you said about the bullet holes. Okay, but hold on. I want to get to graffiti. Ow! Oh, ow. Can I, like, can I, like, bullet time around the bullets? I don't know why I took the longest possible route. Okay, where was that one graffiti? Over here with the fish, right? No, no, maybe it was the other fish? Maybe it was none of, no fish. Ah, shit, I don't remember. <laughs> Where'd that guy go? <laughs> um. I know that the turret is over here. I can't see. Where is the graffiti? I'll find it. Don't worry. God, this music, man. All right, turret. No turret. What the hell? What the frick? Okay, yeah. then how do we do this? How the hell do I get that thing? Uh. Oh. I have to do it when the turrets popped, right? That's the only thing that makes sense. Fuck. Alright. I'll come back for it, I guess. There's another hidden mechanic. Okay, interested. Right about until just now. Uh huh. Make a pile of cop corpses. There's graffiti right there. And what is the secret hidden mechanic? On foot, if you do a uh, punch or kick and then jump, you do big jump. Alt F4 for... F oh! All right, let me do that. What, do we, what is it? Alt F4? Oh, alt. What? What happened? What happened? Did the game crash? What happened? I didn't save. I gotta do all that shit again? I'm just fucking with ya. <laughs> Wouldn't it suck if now the game actually did crash, though? 
Okay, all right, all right. Turn around. I got to get this one graffiti. I got to get the fish graffiti. And I get the... Okay. Fish graffiti. And then the other graffiti is like over there, right? No. Fuck, where's the other graffiti? Ah, shit. Where is the other graffiti? I remember red. No, there they are. The cops are still here. Um, where is the graffiti? Second level between the billboards connecting the levels. I wish the game would show you on the map where the items are. That would be helpful. That would be nice. Otherwise, great game. You're saying over here? Uh, I don't think so. Unless I'm really missing it. No, I wasn't there. Could be higher up. Okay. Oh, hello. Oh! Yeah, the game said that's enough. The game said to... you fucked around for long enough, Mikey boy. Time to get funky. I thought I just spilt water everywhere. Hello, <laughs> getting out of here. Ay! Are we sure it's right there? God, this music's so fucking good. Ow! See ya. I want to drop a fish on its head. That'd be cool. Ay! <laughs> this rules. <laughs> I gotta get a. I gotta get back up to the top though. I'm gonna try that. Kirby, what'd you say? It was a punch. You punch and then you jump. Oh, I see. malls in games that that makes me think about um disaster report i still gotta edit together the raw danger streams into some videos because the raw danger stuff was even funnier than disaster report the the ron tron stream is maybe the hardest i've ever laughed at a stream I had so much fun with that segment in that game. 
And and I, I feel like I should I, I really should edit all that together. Oh, I did that. <laughs> I even did the same one. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, all right. So we're going to try. Uh, I don't think I can. I can't get the air. Oh, but maybe I could do it. Don't nuke me. Stop! No, that didn't work. Come on. Okay. We gotta do it on here. Which is very hard to do. Oh, I forgot the... I forgot the dash button. Uh... There's a fucking Metal Gear shooting at me. <laughs> mm, no, I can't. I can't boost out of that quick enough. We'll uh, we'll just get it when the turrets are up. It'll it'll be all right. You guys just gotta help me remember. I need to do that. Hello. What if I kick your balls? Colonel. Colonel. Metal Gear Ray Cowabunga. has been activated. Oh my god, who was that? Anya Wise, what's good, Guy Nation? <laughs> guy Na Hey, this is Guy Nation. We're not calling. <laughs> We're not calling funny little guy viewers Guy Nation. <laughs> Crunch, what's up, brother? Oh, I can ride on him. Turtle, I'm stunting on him. Colonel, I'm bound to stunt on a freak. What's the what's the Ice Spice song? The um I'll shake shaking my ass in a deli or something. <laughs> I listened to that today. <laughs> After I saw the 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 ice spice uh, Dunkin' Donuts drink was announced, I was like, "What was it? she got that song about like a deli or something?" <laughs> and I was like, "What what's this song?" <laughs> so I put it on. And it was just about like shaking an ass in a deli, and I was like, "You know what? I respect that." I also shake ass in a deli. Though, I think for different reasons. I think she's shaking ass because she's happy and has money. Uh, I'm shaking ass because of pastrami. So, a little bit different. Oh! Okay, I need to I need to watch his attacks. That's the thumbnail. Oh, I fucked up again. I'll get it. I'll get it. Don't worry, chat. I'll get it, and then I can actually read chat again. I got it. I got it. What a dope fight. What a dope way of incorporating the game's mechanics into a fight. What a dope fight. Where'd 
bunch of fuckers. Okay. All right, what's going on, chat? I haven't. I I didn't get to read chat during all of that. Crunch says, "Not uh, wait." Not even joking. I'm being water tortured in my home. What? My landlord's son and his friends have been doing renovation shit to the floor above mine. And I'm going insane. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what are they just like? Like what? What could they be renovating? All right. Do you guys think the turret is active? Maybe, maybe if I beat the shit out of a couple more cops. I gotta get heat to two. Okay. They've been at it since 6 8. Jesus Christ. You should just start doing your own renovations. Just start tearing out the walls. Come on, send more cops. Come on. There we go, okay. Big sprung in the ceiling and now there's a big hole in my ceiling. Uh, how much longer are you living there? Till the 20th? Fuck. Oh. I may have graffitied too close to the sun. <laughs> Whoops. He sends a full mech into a shopping mall to kill a single cyclist. When it's defeated, they just send casual cops. Well, you know, um, that's just the police. I mean, I, <laughs> if you told me that was an actual police report, I would believe you. If you told me that they sent in a tank to kill one guy. And then when the tank didn't work, they just sent in more guys. That that actually sounds like policing. What is the quickest way? No, 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 do this. Oh my god. Okay. And then we go this way with it. Do you guys see that they caught? There's like the guy who escaped from jail here in PA. By like spider walking up a wall you see that they finally caught him after like what, what, he, he, is, he was out of prison for like what like a week I think at that point they should just let him go I think at that point like he escaped and he was he was able to get away for a week that's like that's a get out of jail free card you know why didn't this I came all this way and it's not working. I'm gonna die? The police are gonna shoot me to death for riding a bike in a mall? 
Very American core. Long. Long. I think it's broken. Uh. Uh. Well, that sucks. Like how Google hires hackers. Well, see, that's what I was saying is that they should get that guy and be like, okay, you're now you're the prison warden. Like he was able, he was able to escape and be on the run for a week. So he, he was able to escape. Clearly he's doing a better job. Like he, he would understand how to run the prison better than the current prison warden. To make sure no more people escape. So I say give that man a salaried position. Why is this guy running from me? Prisoner go from 99% corrupt to 100. Wild that the new iPhones are getting Resident Evil and Death Stranding. I saw that. Um, it's wild. I, I, it's wild, but I'm also like not that surprised. Um, with the way that like phones are going. Phones are very strong now. But if you, like, I mean, if you compare it to five years ago, you know, that's crazy. Oops. Okay. Just being shot. I've been shot. That's the first time I've died. Why don't you can play RE4 with touch controls? I mean, you can live out that like iPod touch lifestyle. If you really wanted to, you could do a little, do a little uh, Resident Evil 4 mobile throwback. Oh, I get it. The comps aren't pissed at me now. Oh, I wasted the whole thing. Oh, it's all gone. I'll never be able to get it. Oh. Uh. Yeah, how do I get them? How do I get it back? Uh. I can't get it back. Did I just fuck myself out of ever being able to get that? Surely no, right? Maybe I just gotta like, um, I just gotta spray some stuff I already sprayed. No, I don't think so. Can't you just kill normal people to get the cops? I don't think so. I don't think harassing normal people does anything. Again, the cops. <laughs> Care more about property. <laughs> Oh, there we go. There. Okay.
What if you attack white people? Um... No. Nope. Uh, again, you know, it's property. Property is the main thing. Property or important white people. Guys, who's your favorite white person? I gotta go with, um... Like Paul McCartney. He's pretty good. God damn it. I'm trying to hit it. I just like the look of the NPCs. Where are the cops? Did I accidentally kill all of the police? I hear them. Oh, there's one. Okay. I didn't even get a chance with that one. I I it didn't even give me a prompt for that one. <laughs> and he left. Okay. We're really going to spend an entire, entire ass stream in this room again. Yeah, an entire stream. There we go. Okay, turrets are activated. So these have infinite... These have infinite slide too. Wild. Out, stop. Out, stop, stop. Jesus Christ. How is this thing still reaching me? Get some more heat. Hell yeah. Move out. Sick. Go. Let's go. Sick. Fuck you. I'm going the wrong way. I'm stuck. Oh. Okay. Armored units. I yeah. Yup. Yup. You guys big yop heads? <laughs> you guys big into yop? This guy's a yuppy. No, 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 no. Yup is different from yop. No, not the yops cast. You guys, you guys never had yop? Hold on, we're yapping. This one's for the Yapalos and Yapalettes. Yeah. 
This one's for the Yop Heads. Shouts out to the Yoppers. Now a yop head, what can I say? Shouts out to the Yompers. I like Yopalos and Yopalettes. We're going with that. We do um we got a, a Yop fan meetup next Wednesday. Uh you're gonna wanna head to Kmart. And we're gonna be talking about all things Yop. Yeah. Our favorite Yop flavors. Our favorite time to drink Yop. Um, our favorite, our favorite yopper in the commercial. I mean, we just got, we got so much to talk about as a community. And, um, now's the time to come together and, uh, and, you know, yop it out. Isn't this like the fourth time you shot this on stream? Yeah. And every time I do it, Ed, we get more yomp heads. We get more yompalos and yompalettes. So... We're building the Yomp community. Does it matter why I don't watch as much Mega 64 as I should during 64X? Why? <laughs> Good night, Chris. Thank you for coming. Thanks for hanging out. Very hard for me to handle when they mess with people in public. Ah, uh, that's the best stuff. That's literally their bread and butter. Even though they don't, they don't do it as much anymore. And they've talked about why, but that was the best. That was the best part of the whole thing. Um, the the hour long. Uh, the hour long excursion into asking people if they've seen Janet Ortega was like I've never seen them commit that hard to a bit I've never seen them that lost in the sauce it was um, it was amazing said I couldn't think of a single cum joke oh, c um uh yop kind of looks like pink cum Do with that what you will. Okay, surely the turret is going to pop now. I legit had to mute it a few times. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I'm I'm hardcore into cringe humor. Uh, oh, there's the turret. There's the turret. Oh, please, please. Read the rest of the message. Come on, dude. Oh, okay. Mods, ban him. <laughs> um, I so I like, you know, I'm hardcore into cringe humor and stuff. <laughs> Good night, Chris. Uh, and even there was some stuff during that that I was like, Ugh. it was whenever they started talking to a guy named Kevin, who was the nicest guy in the world, and they just kept harassing this guy. Um, it was like right at the end. For me, that was like, Jesus Christ. Um, it was then, you know, it was, it was all of it, but I'm used to a lot of it. It's just there. Uh, it was, I don't blame you, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I get it. But holy fuck, was it funny? This is where I go to get more respect. Wait, is it respect? Rap. Or no, it's reputation. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, I'm good. Dude, I'm going to slide down. Whee! Oh, oh, you fuckers. You fucking dick. I thought there would be stuff uh, stuff like along this. There's not. <laughs> okay. Fuck you, you fucking dick. There was a point in my life where I could do like the entire uh, like McDonald's order skit. Like I knew that thing so thoroughly. <laughs> oh, they're like, God damn, I can't remember what it is now. Isn't it like he orders like a six piece and then he's like, I want you to throw two of the nuggets away. World record. Oh, I could beat that. I can beat that. Yeah, I will say um, 64X this year wasn't my favorite. Last year and the year before, I think I enjoyed it a little bit more. But every year, the chat is so fucking funny. Um, every year, the community is so damn funny. And... Um, there's enough good shit that I had a great time. I think it started really strong and ended really strong. I went the wrong way. I fucked up and went the wrong way. <laughs> I thought the Tim Burton panel was amazing. Um, I thought the Vic the voice actor or Vince the voice actor panel was very funny. Um, the, the George Carlin live was fucking amazing. <laughs> uh, Nirvana, the band, the show being there was fucking incredible. Their segment was great. I've, I don't think I've ever seen the Twitch chat, the mega 64 Twitch chat pop off that heart. I've been fucked. No, no, no. Me, I win. Did I win? <laughs> Dude, get fucked. Uh, yeah, and then like that ending, the offsite activation into, because I didn't know what they were gonna do for the Jenna Ortega thing. Like I'm like, well, you already kind of blew your load with like, oh, they didn't show up with the Tim Burton panel, and man, did they fucking deliver. I was like on the verge of tears. When they got like thrown out of packs, they go to packs, they get led into packs by an enforcer. They get to the information desk, and the information desk guy throws them out of packs. So they have to go all the way back out. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was it was a good time. It wasn't my favorite one they've ever done, but it was a fucking great time. I swear to God, there was oh, I did the graffiti. Duh. Okay. We're going to do it this way. Uh, can I do it this way? No, I think maybe I got to slide. I think if I slide, I can do it. Oh, yeah, this is the way. Hopefully.
Oh, we're okay. All right, <laughs> that was that was a normal noise. We all make those noises. Um, don't worry about that. <laughs> I need to get this little man. Oh, I need to get this little man, please. I can't get the little man. Okay, we just need to we just need to turn around. Got him. Uh. Oh. any of that <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> from time to time I will make funny noises that was like involuntary all of those noises I didn't want to make I'm sorry you had to hear that Okay, so that looks like that's this area done. I still don't have 200 rep. I gotta go to where that stage was. Do that. Yeah, 64X was dope. You know, like, there's a lot of reasons I admire Mega 64. There's a lot of reasons that, like, I'm, I, I, I think those guys are, like, the best dudes on the internet. I think the funniest fuckers on the internet. But one of the things I think that doesn't get talked about a lot or, or enough, and, and I would honestly say, like, people tend to say shit to the opposite of, is their work ethic. Um, those guys did, like, a seven, like, a six-hour show, six to seven-hour show on Saturday. And then Sunday did a live show did their farewell show farewell tour show on sunday like they back to back did a, f a fucking crazy performance nothing but the biggest respect for those guys did two days of work in a Kirby, i'm gonna actually kick your ass <laughs> where's my respect you get on stage you perform six hours of comedy, and you tell me how easy it is. You're, you're turning into one of those chuckle fucks. One of those, like, no-brain dipshits who are like, um, streaming is just, um, you just play video game. Streaming is easy. Just play video game. Like, no, motherfucker. To be a good streamer... Maybe not necessarily a successful streamer, but a good streamer, you gotta put a lot of shit into that. You gotta put a lot of, of like, mental facilities into that. I'm not saying that's harder than, than emptying a truck. I'm not saying that's harder than a, a real job. But to act like it's easy peasy lemon squeezy, it's like, you do it, fucker. Do it. Dance for us, fucker. From eight hours of comedy at my job every day, well... <laughs> right, but I'm saying good comedy. <laughs> Deal for people for eight hours a day and pretend they're funny. Okay, but that's easy. <laughs> I do that eight hours a day. That shit is easy compared to you yourself actually being funny. That's the real challenge. Being funny is easy to me. Uh, is it? Okay. Okay. Well, go ahead, funny boy. Tell us a joke. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. You're, since you're so funny, go ahead. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Come. Boo. Oh, brother. This guy stinks. This guy doesn't understand humor. <laughs> Where am I going? Where is this stage? Where's this magical, fantastical stage that I haven't found? Probably over there. How the hell do I get over there? This way. Okay. My humor is too <laughs> scared to get the secular out of here. <laughs> humor is too sophisticated for him. Okay. Here, I'll tell you a joke now. Um. Um. Uh, Drew Barrymore just uh just became the biggest scam in Hollywood. Because uh, her show is going to continue regardless of what the Writers Guild and the Actors Guild wants. <laughs> Snore! Oh, oh no, I didn't get to the punchline yet. Uh, all I'm saying is someone should... Uh, should... Scratch her out. <laughs> Someone should kill Drew Barrymore. Now! <laughs> At the right spot yet? No. Who the fuck is texting me while I'm getting shot by the police? Yeah, don't tell me about combo multipliers right now, please. I'm being shot by the police. Oh, this is... Oh, wait, where is... Where did this area even come from? I don't even understand. I, I don't know where this area comes from. I, I, I don't know where this area came from. And quite frankly, I'm too afraid to ask. Full theater audience in unison. Someone should kill Drew Barrymore now. I would. That'd be a dope infomercial. Are you tired of your uh, shitty, washed up, daytime talk show hosts scabbing? Fucking kill them. Okay, we're getting <laughs> we're getting a little advertiser unfriendly here. <laughs> I gotta roll this back. I mean, I, I it's my own machination, but Chad, if you could kill one celebrity, who would it be? And don't say John Lennon. Someone already did that one.
Do you think Hassan could call for like the death of a political figure? And and like get away with it because he's handsome. <laughs> This is the most like actively destruct destructive copagandist in Hollywood. Uh I'm gonna say uh Bob Iger. Oh, that's what I gotta do. Okay. Anyways, uh, we're just joshing around. None of us would ever kill a celebrity or any. We wouldn't. We wouldn't. Hold on. We wouldn't kill anyone. Killing people is bad. Maybe that's an unpopular opinion. I think murder is bad. And you shouldn't do it. Not even a little. Oh, turn that around. I know I advocated for the one murderer to become the new prison warden, but that was a joke. I'm just joshing. I'm just having some joshes. Don't shoot me. Don't snipe me. Don't those kind of look like beach shirt from Jet Set? I just think there might be a couple similarities between this game and Jet Set Radio. I can't. I need to get out of the chains. Famous Fleetwood Mac quote. Oh wait, isn't that when chains keep us together? Were they? Are is Fleetwood Mac pro or anti chains? I haven't figured out. That's a really good question. Are they pro or anti chains? I'll tweet it. Uh, is Mick Fleetwood still alive or did he die? Stevie Nicks is still alive. I'll tweet it. Stevie Nicks. We'll get the whole thing figured out. Hi, I want that. Hi, I want that. I just botched the whole thing. Pro chains anti manacles. <laughs> All right, fair. Okay. Is it pronounced a manacle? Yeah, manacles, right? Manacles, manacles. Been in handcuffs before, chat. <laughs> I feel like I'm asking a lot of unhinged questions tonight, <laughs> and I and I don't mean to. <laughs> Have you guys ever been found guilty in a court of law? <laughs> Easy. 
Oops, I missed. Yeah, yeah, okay. More yeah answers than I was anticipating. I gotta be real with you. <laughs> was was expecting at least a couple no's. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Fuck. It's so hard to, like, figure shit out when I'm being chased by the cops. They gotta give me some space and some time to think it and breathe. I regularly go into Spencer's gifts and put on the sex handcuffs and ask the cashier to unlock them and then do it immediately again. Kirby, can you vouch for this? I'm the cashier. Okay. <laughs> Now this time, I'm not gonna fuck it up. Okay, I got it. Got it all figured out, watch this. Uh, get your pogs ready. Missing any goodies? I don't think so. What's with this door, though? Look at this. Look at this future ass door. What do my pogs have to do with this? Uh, just get them ready. They'll know what to do. They will uh, shake ass in the deli. That is the kids say. <laughs> Did I miss a goodie? Is there a goodie down here? I knew there was a goodie down here. I got a sniffer for goodies, man. I can sniff those suckers out. Chad, what's your favorite smell? Oh, secret bathroom. But I don't want to change that much, so. You know what my favorite smell is, straight up? I love, like, summer nights. The way, like, the air smells in a, in a summer night. That's my favorite smell. Oh, we got 200 rep. Then let's rip. Autumn air. Autumn air is great. Good smell. Smell a barbecue. That's a good smell. That's a good fucking smell. Ow, stop. Ew, stop. I, how, how and why and how and why? How did I immediately fuck that up? 
I immediately ate shit on that. Not sure if this is the best place for this, but I watched Junior yesterday. Hey, that's a good movie. Sorry to all the Meet the Spartans likers. Juno's alright. It's not a movie that I like I, I've actively like searched out to rewatch. But I like it. I think Elliot Page fucking rules in that movie. I think the only thing about it that I'm like I'm like not super big on is the like the like corny ass like this is how teenagers talk shit. Um but like it's um I I, I feel like we're so removed from that now that I, I bet it would be pretty charming to see now. I bet now it would be like, oh yeah, that was like this is how people thought teens talk, you know? And the first thing that's it. Okay. Am I, am I not supposed to... I don't think I'm supposed to slide on that. Ah! <laughs> yeah, Juno's, Juno's pretty dope, if I remember correctly. Michael Sarah was great in that movie. I'm a Michael Sarah head from the day I rise till the day I die. I'm a Michael Sarah head. It is funny though. I think Juno's one of those movies that like the people who hate it. It's like a 50-50 split where the people who hate it are either like they legitimately have like good reasons or they hate it because they don't understand it. They hate it because they're like, um, why did the movie say it would be good for for Juno to to be with the, her, the teacher? It's like uh, the, the, the movie doesn't. Why does this movie promote pedophilia? It, do it doesn't? Hello? Did you watch the movie? Hello? Where they hate Elliot Page. Yeah, that's true. So I guess it's a three-way split. Get these fucking chains away. Yeah, yeah, it's a good movie. Now, I I haven't rewatched it because I watched Meet the Spartans, and I went I uh, I can't go back. That was they ruined that movie for me. That's just too funny. Yeah, Jason Bateman's character is a fucking creep. Yeah, but there are people who think like um. Yeah, but him being in the movie, that character being in the movie, is promoting pedophilia? What the fuck are you talking about? Get off Twitter.com and go touch some grass, folks. Please, for the love of God. I saw some fucking, like, insane level takes about Barbie today. That made me, like, I, I was like, I dude, I don't, I don't know what to do. For humanity anymore. <laughs> I don't know how media literacy is this bad. I saw some insane level Barbie takes. Uh, that I, I won't share with you. Because I don't want to spoil Barbie. But it has to do with... Um, how Barbie Land is at the start of the movie and how that's a good thing. Um, for you for you Barbie heads, 
you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll understand why that's an insane fucking take. Um, but I will say that the person who was using this take, uh, this the person who was getting shit on for having this take, uh, then just started saying, um, all of you males, get out of my replies. Males do not interact. And it was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Honestly, based. Okay. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> Picked up some other movies in the library. What'd you get? What's 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 next on the watch list? I I'm gonna piss blood. I I should have switched outfits in the bathroom. I mean, it would still make this annoying, but. <laughs> Easy Rider, dope movie. Barry Lyndon, dope movie. Uh, the Favorite. Uh, I gotta look at The Favorite. Why do I feel like I just watched The Favorite? The favorite. Oh no, because it was on the thing. It was on the 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 movie thing. The 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 movie matcher man thing. That's why that's why. I didn't see the favorite. It's just I saw pictures of the favorite. Uh an anatomy of a murderer, I think, is pretty dope. I don't think I've seen Anatomy of a Murderer. But I have seen Easy Rider, and I'm sure shit seen Barry Lyndon. Those are good movies. Um, I'm gonna I'm just gonna piss a fucking gallon and a half of blood real quick. If that's if that's cool with you guys. I'm just going to um just evacuate the entire blood supply in my body. I watched um, on uh, Sunday. I actually I watched two movies. I watched uh, Real Window, which I never seen before. Get in here. I'd never seen Real Window before. Uh, watched that, and then I watched Psycho, which I've seen uh, I think like four or five times. A controversial opinion. Alfred Hitchcock could make a fucking movie. Um, but I watched the dude. I watched those on TCM. I was over at my parents' place, and whenever I go to my parents' place, if there's not like old SpongeBob or old Simpsons on, um, I just put on TCM. And yeah, they were doing fucking. Rear window and then psycho and it was like, uh, yeah, that's a fucking good double feature I'll tune in for that so I got my cock on I got my I got my hitchcock I Got my cock hitched Oh my god, dude, you're gonna make me shit. Ruindo is such a good vibe. Sped up like 1925 ass. It's so weird that it's sped up like that. It's so like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> like, uh, it it feels like I'm in like cartoon land with that. Sh it feels like I'm watching a fucking Three Stooges short. It's so weird, but it was a great movie. I did I did I are you fucking? Ki I. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm like actually getting heated. <laughs> Um, I watched that, and then also I on Monday, I guess I should say, um, on Monday I I've decided, uh, you know I've got this CRT, I have this this special thing to watch shit on. I should watch something that like isn't a baby cartoon that I've seen a hundred times, and so. Uh, this is going to sound stupid now that I set it up that way. Um, I've decided I'm going to try and watch every episode of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Because I adore Mystery Science Theater 3000. And, like, that's a show that looks great on a CRT. So, on, on Monday, when I didn't stream, I watched the first episode of that, which is The Crawling Eye. And I, I loved it. I mean, it's definitely... They say, like, that first... First season is like really jank compared to the rest of the show, and I would agree. But uh, there was some there were some good riffs that I laughed at, and I I, I have a great time watching the show. It, it it honestly like I love the host segments. I love the low budgetness of the host segments. Like those are just fun to watch for me because of the puppetry, but. The riffing stuff is, I really like as like a uh, friendship simulator. I really like just putting it on and like actually trying to watch the movies. And then like ever, you know, laughing at their riffs, but like, it's okay if I don't laugh at every single riff. Uh, it's okay for some of the jokes to not be funny or for me to not get some of the references. Cause like, I'm just here watching a movie with my friends so um i love mst3k and uh the majority of it maybe even all of it is on youtube for free so pretty swag you ever you fellas ever listen to sad music on purpose yup You guys ever feel sadness? Mods, ban anyone who says yes. What am I supposed to do? How do I get on that? God damn it! How do I get on that? Oh, what did I just do? What did I take me back? Oh my God. There was a fast travel the whole time. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> What's the saddest album, you know? Um, well, I, I don't know if you're going to like my answer. I don't think my answer is what you're looking for, but the album that makes me feel the most sad is Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. That's the album that, like, I'm, like, if I listen to, if I sit and listen to that whole album, that's, like, I'm guaranteed to cry. But I don't think that's necessarily what you're looking for, because it's not, not a lot of the music is, like, slow tempo, like sad sounding music. It's just the lyrics and the memories are sad. I'm gonna piss. I'm just gonna fucking shit and piss. Uh, a crow looked at me. Who's who is that by? What does a crow looked at me? Yeah. 
by Mount Erie. I have n I've never heard of them. I've never heard of this album. <laughs> what kind of music is it? I'm going to kill this man right here real quick. Like, stop getting grabbed. Can you guys stop fucking shooting me for a New York minute while I figure this out? Holy shit. Don't snipe me. What did I just fucking say? What the fuck am I? I, I genuinely don't understand. <laughs> Fuck. I just... Mmm. Unless we're supposed to do this. Oh. Just to ride on top. What the fuck? What in the Sam hell? Can't see. Um, fuck. What the fuck? What the ass? I <laughs> I feel like galactically stupid right now. I can do this at least. Stop. No, you fucking idiot. You fucking dick. Please. We're begging you. All your fans on Twitter.com are... I can't even get this from here. Why did I come up here? <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. I don't think I like the mall level as much as the other levels. This has been the only one that I've, like, actually struggled with. It's hard to, to know where I'm supposed to go. I guess I'll just go do the challenge. If I can figure that out. Why is there not a mini map on the screen? Please? Please? Can I have a mini map? Please? I'm so fucking stupid. Please? Yeah, that's a good point. Thank you, Kirby. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, no, that's true. That is true. That's true. True. That's true. True. 
It's still not a great mini map though. Anyways, what is what is Lake Erie or what's his name? What is it? So what is it? What kind of music is it? Mount Erie. Okay. Sorry, I devoted 100% of my brain to trying to figure that shit out, and so we didn't figure that shit out. 100% <laughs> of zero is still zero, so... <laughs> Indie folk, okay. I could get into that. I am I am likely to get into that. Hell yeah. Get up there. Hell yeah. Get up there. <laughs> There's, there, I'm, I am actually supposed to get up there. There's a goodie. Ooh. Yeah, for me with sad music, there's always, uh, like rumors by Fleetwood Mac makes me immensely sad. Like, I can't talk about that album without crying. Um, King Cruel, um, ah, fuck. Six Feet Beneath the Moon. Is that what it's called? Um, that album's pretty sad, but it's also, like, angry. And so that, 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 um, hits pretty good for me sometimes. That right balance of like sad but like fucking angry about it. That um that that hits pretty good for me. That hits home pretty good, so I'm for a crew battle. Ooh. Short work of the tricks. Yeah, I got this. This isn't gonna be hard. You're throwing me in this place with the most amount of turns. I think I might be able to get it. Just got to get over here. And let's multiply. Oh, they're multiplying too! Uh-oh. Oh, no! Yeah, I think I've creamed them. They might be a little creamed. Oh, we're running over old ground. Uh oh. Oh, I fucked up now. Come on. Come on. What the fuck are the stairs? I'm not going to get there in time, but that's okay.
Easy. And I brought up Fleetwood Mac during the sad music talk, too. It's Rumors is a really sad album. You can get a lot of Fleetwood Mac that is um, good, but, like, fun. Rumors is um, four people who are so close burning it all the fuck up. And it is, like, and, and like sad about it, angry about it. Uh, retrospect or introspective about it like they're looking at their lives change and who they are as people change and they're so sad and so fucking mad at each other and it all comes out in the music it all fucking comes out would do better to give up on all city there's a new police operation set up to smoke writers like you. Yeah. They call it Project Algo. We've been picking up the signals of their new crackdowns. You got a cyber head. Why don't you use it? Uh. <laughs> we did it! What? Only two burrows left. There's a shirt right there. Chat, don't let me forget that. There's a shirt right there. <laughs> All city. Oh, it's this lady again. Way to go. Well done. Bomb Rush Crew takes another burrow. Mm. Watch out now. DJ Cyber might actually take you seriously. Isn't vinyl freelancer? Hmm. Red, I want to tell you something about your head. Head? I think my head isn't so cyber to begin with. What the fuck? You what? Oh shit. It's a dot exe boss. He's straight gone. How did this happen to him? Out here in the open? Mm. Like he knew too much. Starting to make moves. You guys better protect your necks. It could happen to you. <laughs> I love these segments. These are like my favorite parts of the game. I love this shit. I remembered. I almost didn't. I almost didn't. I remembered. What the fuck? Dude, Snake Mountain. Oh, other sad music that I, I dig. There's a lot of Daniel Johnson that I think is pretty sad. Yeah, any signals? Any intel? About what? 
of who shot me. I don't think I have that tech, man. You were a cyberhead, right? Like me? Let's listen to the police radio frequency. Easy. Sorry. Guess I'm still too human. Too human? Now that's a game. There's a lot of songs. Um, I, I don't know about full albums in my mind, but there's a lot of songs that I think are pretty sad and I love them a lot. You, this is going to be morbid, but do you guys have a funeral playlist? Do you guys have a like, in case of death, play this? <laughs> Deli by Ice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're going to play the music video and you're going to fucking rock it out of the casket. I love these segments. Sorry, not to go back to this. I just said it, but I love the platformingness of these segments. This is the shit I'm into because I'm, I'm a platformer. Platformer. No, no, wait, that's Bubsy 3D. Can't be a platformer without platforms. It's called Educating Mike. Yeah, that's a good that's a good funeral playlist. Every time I've told someone to play something at my funeral is a joke. Play my latest Spotify playlist. Segments break it up enough. Uh, yeah, I love this. Like I said, I love these a lot. I think they're very good. Very swag. It's a nice change of pace. Did I fuck this up? I think I fucked this. I don't think I was supposed to go this way. I think I went backwards. That's my bad. Oh, yeah. I um, I do. I I ask that because I do have a playlist. It's not much. It's not many. But I can't. Um, I can't imagine. Any good, good old-fashioned Christian music being played at any kind of funeral or, or remembrance of my life, and I was like, you know, I should probably um, make a list just in case, <laughs> just so that someone out there might know that I don't want like Amazing Grace at my funeral. Look at this. Jesus Christ, look at this. This is fucking dope. And the music and every... Oh God, this game's so goddamn good. Whoops. <laughs> This game has done everything I wanted this game to do. This game has um, met and exceeded all of my expectations and wishes for this game. If this game came out last year, it'd be my game of the year. But I also could probably say that about um, pretty much every game I played this year. And that's the problem. <laughs> that's why this isn't my game of the year. Oh, they are really 
getting me. Ow! Can I, can I hide? Can I hide? Don't die! I hide and let my, my health recharge. Okay, on the flip side of the funeral playlist, you guys got a you guys got a fuck playlist? You guys got a, a sex playlist? Boost. Boost you bitch. Telly by Ice Spice. <laughs> he died. Doing what he loved, listening to Delhi by Ice Spice. Oh, yeah. I think I gotta kill everyone. El Sonadito, best sex song. Um, I'll take your word on that. <laughs> I don't know what that song is. Is that my head? Is that my big ass stupid head? Who are you? I saw you in my dream. Told you. Keep the ladder steady. Can't. Up here with you. Guy down there. I'm sure he could do it. Oh my god, it's me! Uh, the best, the best song to have sex to is the one that, what was that one? The, the, <laughs> what was that song? Sea bat Okay. <laughs> Blackouts are not normal for a new cyber head. DJ Cyber did something to him in that chair, I'm sure. Started with that. Mm. We don't have time to figure this out right now. We gotta even book it. Move out. Increase the perimeter and don't let anyone leave this mall. <sighs> Wonder. That guy is some of the dudes. I knew he was bad news. The night he tried to escape. Oh, we got vocals. Adam, we have several injured officers. Uh, no casualties. I see. Make sure everyone is taken care of. First time I've had suspects break out of custody like this. What's the status of the three suspects? DJ Cyber and one other detainee have escaped. And the third suspect, well, take a look. Oh, DJ Cyber doesn't have his head. Uh-oh, the police do. What a twist. Wow. Hmm. Irene, this is the future. This kid's mind knows exactly how these street gangs operate. Sir, with all due respect, it's too risky. You don't know what else is on this mind. I love this city. It's why I became Chief Inspector. The Vandals. Every slur they write. Every window they break. We'll see that. And it tells them you can do whatever you want in this city. 
I will keep an eye on the subject personally. Form the other lieutenants about Project Algo tomorrow. Yes, sir. What? Uh, we fucking to Sweet Caroline dubs to hell yeah. Especially if you're fucking your cousin. Yo. Hey, I figured I should make myself comfortable. Here you are. Thanks for your help earlier. Yo, nah. Why are you on our couch, if I may ask? Hmm. Since I'll be joining your crew from now on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I see. I see. Now listen here. Maybe you did help us out in Millennium Mall. Don't start thinking you could just... Hmm. These blackouts and dreams Red keeps having, I can tell you what causes them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh my god! Lee Harvey Oswald is back! Memories coming back to you by doing graffiti and conquering the burrows. Every burrow you take, you become more capable. Soon, strong enough to face DJ Cyber. Memories of who? A foe? Oh. Memories don't belong to foe. They belong to someone else. Someone who... Oh my god, watch out! <laughs> Escher, I don't remember this guy. Meet again, redhead. Gotcha. Memento Mori. How many times is this guy gonna get his head blown off? That sniper from before. How did he find us? Uh, Bell? What the fuck? Huh? Hmm. Promise me one thing. Don't tell anyone about this. Forget that. My boy is messed up. We have to get him to a doctor. Um. Doctor. The Flesh Prince. We have to find him. I assume I don't get to play as Red. No, Red's just dead. <laughs> don't worry, Red. We'll get help. Wow. Red is dead. That's the title of the next stream. He's eliminated from the paintball game. Oh! <laughs> get my hog snorked. To I will follow you into the dark by death cab for cutie. Okay, you do that, bud. <laughs> you enjoy that shit. <laughs> Good shit right there. All right, chat. That's going to do it for me tonight. What a what a good timing. What a good spot to leave off. We'll pick this up again next week. Uh, what a dope game. What a great game. And we're getting plot twists. I never, I, I did not think we would get plot twists. Again, this game is just delivering on everything I could want out of it. The story is cool. The gameplay is great. The aesthetic is dope. The music is great. It's just, everything about it is fucking great. And the story is really coming out of nowhere. In, in a good way. It's really out here like, oh... Oh, this this is way better than I thought it was gonna be. But that's gonna do it for me tonight, chat. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go get dinner. I'll be back tomorrow with Pikmin 4. That's cool with you. Do Pikmin 4 tomorrow. I still haven't figured out when I'm streaming Friday. Oh so if you have any suggestions for anything small, indie, weird, or retro. That you'd like to see me do or that's come out recently obviously not retro in that regard but um please post it in suggestion box because i I'm, i kind of have some ideas but 
I haven't settled on anything yet. So I should played a super fun indie game recently. It's quite short. I'll post it. Okay. Hey, do it. Pop it in the suggestion box. There's a little indie da game called Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 that you might like. Wow. No. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, good stream. Good stream. Good chat. Good gravy. Let's eat. That's literally what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go get dinner. So, thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you tomorrow. Do Pikmin 4. Getting close to the end of Pikmin 4. Um, I, I don't think there's too many of those streams left. So you're going to want to tune in tomorrow. Make sure you don't miss it. Set, a, set the calendar. Call the call the front desk. To set a wake-up call for you. People do that, right? You guys got front desks in your homes, right? Cool. I'll catch you tomorrow, chat. Thanks for being here. Nintendo Direct tomorrow. Jesus. And uh, we'll start the stream probably with the Sony State of Play. And then uh, we'll talk about the Nintendo Direct. We'll talk about the Nintendo Direct. Then the Sony State of Play. We'll probably watch that on stream. We'll see how I'm feeling after the Direct. And then we'll do Pikmin 4. So. Big by the next time you see me, there will be a new Donkey Kong game announced. And I will pog. Real. This stream won't age badly. I'll catch you tomorrow, chat. Good night.